morning everybody welcome back to a create with me video um, last week I was working on uh, these journals and I one of the embellishments that I put in it sorry I've got papers falling up here uh, one of the embellishments that I made to put in it is this little square and I thought today I would just do a quick tutorial on these because they're super easy to make but I love how they came out and these were actually using some of the let me see if I can find a sheet it's the Tim Holtz um, you know the sheet within Tim Holtz paper packs that you get the small they're like little three by four journal cards and I never quite know what to do with them because here we go I got a sheet it's these. So I'm always looking for ideas on how to use these and, and that's what actually sparked this. Um, but today we're going to do, you know, with some different papers. Um, but that's how these have come out because I just took the frame and created, you know, with one of the patterned papers and then I tried to find, you know, some little image as the focal point. Um, so anyways, let's just get started today. Uh, like I said, it's it's a really quick <clears throat> project for you to do. Let me grab my big shot. Well, before I do that, you're going to need <clears throat> three. Well, I've chosen three. You only need two nesting um, squares. But I've chosen three because I thought today this is using these two, which are, <clears throat> I know somebody's going to ask, they're about one and three quarter square, and that one is about an inch square. Um, but it doesn't matter. If you've got the nesting um, squares, you decide the size that you want. So don't get hung up on that. And if you've got... Um, square punches, I would imagine you could do this. I had considered purchasing a couple of square punches for this project because it would be quicker and then I thought actually I'm not going to because I've got these and uh, punches take up so much room so I'm trying to get away from the punches. As, as convenient as they are I find it difficult to store. Um, so today I thought well just you know so that we can compare it I'm going to go slightly bigger and just make it that's about a two and a quarter and then that being a one and three quarter inch um, so let's just get started and you can see what you're going to need to do with these because <clears throat> yeah I thought about the punches um, and I nearly ordered a couple and then I thought well I'm not too sure without having one here to try it might be fiddly running it back through to cut that um, center one out. So if anybody tries this with a punch <clears throat> and is happy to share <clears throat> how it came out, I would love to know. Okay, this is the Prima lavender paper. And I'm already going to, we're going to use this, we're going to go with the bigger one this time. I'm going to cut out this rose just and have that as the... Um, the focal point there. So we've got that. I know I'm going to have that and then I'm going to flip it um, over and let's see I'm going to need to do because I'm going to make this as the frame. <clears throat> I'll have this as the the background, I think, because that would be pretty on the other side to see that. And then I'm just going to come back, and you're going to do and make sure I'm not cutting. Yeah, I'll use this because uh, I don't want to cover up cut the this. I'll use that image later on something. To be honest, what you use on the back. <coughs> 
Well, it kind of does matter because if it does flip over, you do want it to look nice. But um, because I like mine to be sturdy, you wouldn't have to do this, but I like... my little embellishments. I like them to be kind of sturdy within the journal. I hope I got that square. Sometimes when you run this through that big shot, it will um, slip a bit. So there you go. What? <clears throat> so what you end up with is your large one you've cut. Then you take the large one again and run it through to cut it. And then you've got to center that and cut that out and that creates the frame and then this is just going to fit within that and I think I'm going to have that actually I'll have that as yeah I'll have that side as the background just in case it flips over um, let me see what glue today <laughs> I've zoomed in so you guys can see a little bit better, but now I'm worried if I'm staying within the um, the frame by doing that, but I'm hoping that you can just get a little bit better view when I'm working. Yeah, I probably shouldn't use this fabric tack for that. I hope everybody's had a good weekend. I um, <clears throat> did the car boots this weekend to sell and I went, you know, for myself. Just kind of having a little browse. But I have to say this weekend was really um, not a great, you know, for buying. We did okay on selling, so that was really good because I told you we'd had so much stuff. Sorry, this glue is not cooperating. Um, we had so much <clears throat> that we needed to get rid of. So we did we did do okay on that, but yeah, I, I didn't find anything this weekend, and that's how it goes sometimes. And you might go a couple of weeks, and then then all of a sudden you just find loads of stuff. Now you don't have to t to cut this out. You could just glue it on there, but I like it because it fits in there, so that. I don't know, it just it fits in like a little puzzle piece. And then I'm just going to put an eyelet. Now, the ones I did this weekend, I didn't do this because um, I'm getting so low on these small eyelets. But this one for, for tutorial, I will. Uh-oh, I've got to punch that larger. So there you go. And then you could just put some string, or I've used a little bulb pin there. So that's the difference in size, and actually that would work nicely within a journal as well. I think I kind of favored the small ones, but I do like these as well. That's come out nice. Okay, so I'll do another one because um, <clears throat> I've got a couple of journals. And then I'm just saving my squares because I'm thinking... Um, I'll show you a card I made at one time with some square pieces. So I'm going to start saving all my squares and then you, you can come back in and as long as you space those and then you can just add some little um, the dimensional butterflies and you can create that with the leftovers, so don't get rid of those. Uh, I love that card. I save 
I used to, you know, I started out with the card making, so I've saved some of my favorite cards that I created. Um, and that was one of them. Because it's so simple, and sometimes I think, for me, um, I think the simpler the design, the better. Uh, it, that's my taste on it. Okay, so I want to do... Um, there's another one I want to do, and I'm going to, and, and this is somehow at times, if I'm looking for a focal point, I use these all the time. I know you're going to ask again where I got them from. Let's see if that's going to, there you go. She's on Etsy, and she's got gorgeous things, and I often use these. I use them in my fabric postcards, and today I think this is going to be really pretty to um, to cut out. And just make a little tiny, another tiny. In fact, I, I think I'll just go ahead and do another one this size because it would show, it'll show that image up a little bit nicer. So, uh, run that back through. So yeah, you know, don't forget your digital downloads, because often the um, scrapbook papers don't really give you these size images to work with. Um, so yeah, I, I go back to these time and time again. And it's like the Prima lavender paper. I really don't like to cut it up and use it that way because uh, um, the Prima papers are... I don't know where I'm going with that. Sorry. <laughs> um, the Prima papers... That might be pretty. Let me do that. Um, I, I don't really want to use those that way to cut them up because it's expensive paper. center out of that. I should have did it all in one go. Hoping this will look nice with that one. Uh, these plates, I just bought these cutting plates and uh, that shows you how much I use because they're already, I could really do with a new, another set. I seem to be going through these. And I've tried I know you, you've probably seen, I've seen people who say you can put that through and, um, oh, I don't know if I like that. I don't think that looks right. Okay, let's start over. Let's see, I want to get something that, because that's too dark, I think, for that. That'll be okay, I think. And then I can age that around there. Um, I've heard that you can sand these down and put them in the oven, but I tried it and I didn't have any luck with that personally. Um, but maybe I didn't leave them in there long enough. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. For the back here, let me just get a, a piece of... Got so many scraps. I've got to do try to make that a priority this week to go through my uh, scrap bucket. And um, this is where these I'm hoping that I can use a lot of them on little stuff project like this. But as you can see, it's kind of fiddly with the framelits, and that's why I was starting to think maybe I should buy two punches, but I'm just a little bit worried when you go to center that into the other one, if, if I can still keep enough of a grip to be sure that it's going to cut the center part out. If I hope that's making sense. 
So if anybody tries this with punches, do please, you know, if you're happy to share the result, I would love to know because obviously I don't want to purchase um, the square punches if it if it's not going to work correctly. Um, so yeah, I'd really appreciate it, and it would be nice for everybody else to know that because some people may just have the punches. Um, may you know if they don't have anything, they might prefer to just get the punches rather than the framelits. Um, oh gosh, that glue is so watery. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's just running out, and I'm not sure why. This is normally very good glue. I should have picked up some this weekend because I went into town uh, yesterday and picked up my... I was out of cardstock, so uh, I should have picked up another one of those tacky glues because I'm getting very low. It's such a shame because I bought a big bottle off of Amazon, um, but I can't get... Uh, it's a different brand, and I can't get it to even come out. these up a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that one, I haven't put an eyelet in in that one, but I'm just going to use like this one, the little bulb pin and maybe put you know like a little pearl or something with it or even a tiny piece of lace would be pretty but I'll show you if you haven't because um, I know not everybody that watches my create with me watch my go through my journal to uh, flip throughs but this is how I used it within this journal on the front cover here as you see and I've just taken it and attached it to a tiny piece of lace. And I love how those have come out. And that's just scrapbook paper. In fact, I'll show you the page that I cut that from is this. So see, that was just a tiny image there. And then this one, I just cut him out about there. So, you know, you could do it with the butterfly. So just, you know, just another thing to think about um, because, like I said, sometimes the scrapbook papers, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not probably using the, the scrapbook papers. Um, I, I've got loads of it, but I'm not using it as much as I should be, and I'm hoping that this is going to spark some ideas on how to make use of this because I've got some really pretty paper packs I need to get through so that I can buy more, don't you know? <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, there's a couple other ones I did. And that's from that same paper. Let me just show you because I know somebody will ask about that one. I don't know if you guys can get this in the U.S. or not. This is Nature's Grace and it's a Dove Craft. But I <clears throat> picked that up from a, a store here, and I really liked the colors because the, I love the moths, and I like the birds. It's got the bird cage. It's a pretty little paper pack. Um, and I'll show you guys another one I just picked up as well. Um, this, I've never heard of this, Hackney and Company. But this is so gorgeous, and I don't know if you guys will be able to get this in the U.S. or not. Maybe somebody carries it, I don't know, but I think she's an, I think I read that she's a, a British illustrator, this, that did this is what I think. But anyways, that's there so you guys can check it out, but look at these papers. This is the front, and it flips up, and that's what I was talking about. It's almost like you can color that in, which is awesome. And then you got all that, I don't know, maybe fussy cut. 
And then the little ball mason jars, aren't those beautiful? And they've got like a sheen to the jar, but then the, the flowers are just matte. And then that's the back. These are all double-sided. And that's hard to find, um, you know. And sometimes you want just a single sheet. I understand that. But I, it is nice when you can find a good double-sided pack. And what I like about it, it's not silly heavy. So this is going to work really nice within the journal. But look at those. Beautiful. And you get uh, one, two... Four sheets of each pattern and look at that pattern now see that would be beautiful with the little what I just did look at that really pretty I'll just show you the this was I used this in that book and that's front and back that that design and then you got this one so this is the back and that's the front with the hairs Beautiful. I had to order this online, and I can't remember. Um, I think it was the Crafty, Crafty Stash Company. I believe that's who I had it. But I don't know if they've still got it in stock because it's um, really popular. And then look, you've got all these flowers. And then this is the back of it with the grasshoppers. And then this, you got the I guess that's little field mice. And look at that page. I love that. And then this one's really pretty because it's got, that's the sheet that looks to me like it's for coloring in. And then the back of it's got all of the names of the, um, looks like birds and flower names. And this page, oh, I hadn't even spotted that page. That's really pretty. And then that's the back of it. Now I missed one, I'm sure, because hmm, this is the one right here. Look at that pattern. That's beautiful. Oh, that's the back of the grass. Okay, that's the back of the grasshopper one. I love that page. It's like a watercolor. That's a really, really nice set there. So. Um, Anyways, guys, okay. So that is uh, my project today. Thank you guys so much for dropping by. And uh, as soon as I can come up with something else to share with you, I will. You guys have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.